everyone, it's your girl Paige. Welcome to this um, week's Pick a Card. We're going to ask what would he or what would she say to you if they could? Maybe your person is shy, maybe you're in separation. It could be a lot of things. So we're going to see, it could be whoever you're inquiring about, lover, crush, ex, friend. What would, what would he, what would she say to you truly if they could, if they were completely honest with you? We have three piles. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. We also have ch some channeled cards, some channeled messages with tarot. I'm going to speak as if I'm your person, okay? So if you want to see it up close, this is pile one. Pile two. And pile three. Alright, so there's some risque cards in here. Or there's some sexually graphic tarot cards. Because I'm usually using the sexual magic tarot deck. But this is not like a sexual reading. I'm just saying the images. There might be some naked pictures, okay? Take your time to choose your pile. You have all the time in the world. So pause it, make your decision, and come meet me at your pile. Okay, thanks guys. Hello, pile one. How are you? Um, We're going to do a reading, channeled reading, of what would he or what would she say to you. I'm going to do it based on the decks one at a time. Alright, so I can get it more thoroughly. Starting with the mermaids, Harrow. And I'm going to speak as if I'm your person. Hi, how are you? How have you been? I've been thinking about you a lot. I apologize if I've been quiet for some time. I've just been reflecting a lot. I've been thinking a lot about the memories we've had, the moments that we have shared. I think about all the possibilities and the things that we can do together. We could take the world, babe. I see us working together. I want you to know that I'm coming out of this hurt place. I'm coming out of this hot and cold energy. I'm believing in fate, and I believe that Destiny is going to bring us together. I want to make a solid offer for you. I just want to make sure that the time is right. So that's why I've been quiet. That's why I probably haven't been as open with my feelings. I haven't been as expressive about what I want. I haven't been bold. Um, or I never really made the move. I felt stuck. A little part of me felt stuck. I was in a hurt place. I was in a dark place. Um, I'm not excusing that behavior, but I was definitely in a dark place and you were like this light. You were like this lighthouse for me that I didn't even know I needed until I found you and I thought this must be fate. This must be destiny. 
I could tell that you were going through a lot too. You had your own struggles as well. I tried to be there for you as best as I could, but in the end, you were there for me more than I was there for you, and I realized this. When we had these arguments, when the tides started to shift and we kind of started to drift away from one another, I just want you to know that you have always been on my mind. I've tried to stop thinking about you, but every now and then you're just... I rehash our moments, our laughter, goofy moments, how you made me feel like a kid again. I'm always thinking about the past with warm regards, with warm smiles, because you make me feel warm. If I'm honest, you're my dream. You're my dream, Pile One. You've always been my dream. I'm trying to bring this back together. I'm trying to see how I can change some things around or, or disconnect some things from my life so that I could be the person that you deserve. I still need some time to myself. I will admit I like my my private space. I like my alone time. It's nothing against you or anything, but I need, I'm the type of person that I need my space. It just helps me think more. I'm a thinker and I, I can't really think clearly when I'm with you because you make me feel all these types of emotions. Good, of course, they're good feelings. I think you bring out the spark in me. I may have had this fear of commitment but when we separated, parted, when we fought, and I tried to move on with someone else, no one else has what you have, babe. You're the only one that I could see myself marrying. Talk about end game, right? <laughs> Talk about long time, long term goals. I'm waiting for the tides to shift. I'm waiting for the wheel to turn in my favor. I feel stuck right now. I feel in this heavy energy that I don't want to bring you into. I don't want to pull you down with me. I think you're going through your own battles as well. But I'm very passionate about you. I want you to know that I have so much passion and fire for you. You are so magnetizing. It just drives me crazy. And you wonder why I need my alone time, why I need my space, so I can think clearly. Clearly, it's hard to think when I'm around you because you're so darn beautiful. Not only do I want us to be together in the end and give you something stable, and I want this to be long-lasting, but there's so much passion, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of passion. We had our passionate moments. I don't want to hide this connection anymore. I feel like I've hidden this for far too long, and it's killing me inside. It's killing me. Because we can achieve so much together. We bring out the best in one another. We have so much that we could give to this world. And I never even thought about all this until I met you. You have been the changing, driving force in my life, and I have not been the same since. You help, you help facilitate my healing. I was always a dreamer, but now I'm a dreamer of love because of you. I will admit that I'm kind of controlling. Um, I want things to be my way. I don't like to surrender or see things in another perspective that's not my own perspective. It's it's something I've had for almost all my life. It's it's something I'm dealing with. All I've had were mostly flings with other people. All I've cared about was passion. But with you, it's something different, something different entirely, and I, I can't explain it. It's intense. It was intense. That's kind of why I, I backed away in the beginning. It was so intense. It scared me a little bit, but at the same time, it's, it's just amazing. It 
can never ceases to fascinate me. I've been deceptive, though. There's some things that you don't know about. I've, um, I've kind of uh, manipulated your compassion in your big heart. I was one of those people that I swore to protect you from. I messed around with, with a few people. I've done other things that you're unaware of. I still lie every now and then. That's why I'm trying to go quiet within so that I can work on myself. I want you so badly in my life, but I don't want you to be a part of mine if it means I'm contaminating your life. Because you don't deserve that. You deserve all of me, not half of me, not a fourth of me. All I've given you is is a fraction of what you've given me. And I want you to know that I'm grateful for your existence. I'm grateful for your presence. I, whenever I'm having a hard day or whenever it's hard for me to fall asleep, I just think about us. I think about your smile. I think about the laughter. I think about all the intense conversations that we had in the dark. I could talk to you about anything. You were an open book. You like that I was open as well. I think we compliment that no judgment that we probably had from other people. But I'm, I really am trying to, to go within. I'm, I'm just so in my head about this. I wish I could just follow my heart. But there's so many wounds about my past that you don't know about, babe, and I'm trying to work through that. I'm really trying to. And I and I do admit, yes, I'm manifesting you. Yes, you're my wish. Yes, I believe we are fated. So there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to end up together some way, somehow. But you just have to trust me. I know I may have abused that trust in the past, I'm trying to change, though. I'm trying to. It's difficult for me. Especially since I still have this ego. I still have this controlling nature within myself. But I want you to know, above all else, that I love you. I really, truly love you. Ooh, that was nice. Now moving on with this, the sexual tarot. The Five of Wands in reverse. The star again. The Three of Cups. The Hermit again. And the Page of Cups. I'm still in my childish ways. I honestly... I don't know how to, how to change this. I don't want to leave my free lifestyle of messing around with people not being in a commitment. I like to be free bird. I like to mess around with people and not be tied down to anybody. There's a lot of inner conflict. I think I want to step forward, but I'm not ready to... I'm, not, I'm just not ready for commitment. I want to mess around some more if I'm completely honest. I want to have fun. I, if, if I were to try to force myself to come to you, I would just break your heart and I can't have that. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but at the end of the day, when I close my eyes, it's you that I'm dreaming of. It's you that I'm wanting. I always think about who are you with? 
who are you talking to? Who, who are you giving your love and your energy to? If it's not me, it's like, who? It makes me so jealous sometimes. I don't know. I need more time, please. Please just give me more time. Now we have the channeled love messages. A burning flame rises up inside every time I think of you. I feel so much passion for you. You light my fire. You are the one I've been looking for. You complete me. I see you in my dreams, and in my dreams, we are already together. Believe. I love how much faith you have in me. No one has ever believed in me the way that you do. I treasure you more than you know. You are always on my mind. I've been taking you for granted and I'm sorry. Now I finally feel the consequences of my actions. I hope I haven't lost you for good. I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I've said to you. I didn't mean them. I'm truly sorry for all the pain and drama I've caused. You didn't deserve that. I'm feeling so nostalgic lately. Thinking about you always makes me smile. You are so beautiful. I just heard you are so damn beautiful. It is so silly of me to want you so badly and yet keep it so concealed. I'm your secret admirer. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can, all, you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. That's it for you, Pile One. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked it and it resonated and have a blessed day. Thank you, bye. Hello, Pile Two, how are you? You're the ones who chose this. And we're gonna see what he or she what they would say to you if they could, if they could just openly express their emotions, um, if they're separated from you, or if they're scared and anxious, this is what would come straight from their heart, okay? I'm going to speak as if I am them talking to you with the tarot, and then I have channeled messages as well, okay?
pile two. You have no idea how bad I want you. You know, you don't have any clue how badly I want to just rush in right now and scoop you in my arms and not let you go. I've been so wishy-washy in the past, indecisive about what I want, trying to trying to eat my cake and eat it too. You are in a heavy place when we met and I could see that. It was as if nobody really listened to you and all the odds were against you. I don't know if I let you know this enough, but I'm, I'm here for you. I don't want things to go cold between us. I know it's my fault. I know I said some words I shouldn't have said. I know that I've left you second guessing, guessing about how I feel, guessing about my actions, whether I've been shady or not. And yes, I have been shady. I told you that I wanted to give you an offer and then I took the offer back. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Nobody deserves that, but especially not you. There's so many words I just want to tell you. So many things I'm trying to get across, but I'm scared that it's going to be as if my foot's in my mouth and I'm going to say the wrong things. But I want to give you so much insight. I want to confess some things. I want closure. There's so much restlessness and anxiety in my head about about how do I approach this? How do I tell Pyle to everything that I, I've been yearning to say for so long? I've kept you second guessing. It's like I've made you an option instead of the one. I filled your ears with pretty words, but my actions spoke otherwise, and I apologize. I made you feel like I left you high and dry. That I left you just to be in the cold and shut the door on the connection. And no words, no amount of words in the world can amount to how sorry I am for hurting you that way. I should have just been honest. I felt a little pressured, but that's no excuse. I made it seem as if I was ready to take things on another level. And I had you so happy, but then I took it back. I receded the offer. I looked around at all my options. I, I, I did some shady shit, I'm sorry. But karma is a bitch. Trust me, I've had my share of karma for how I've treated you, and I deserve all of it. If I could tell you something as well, I would say that you haunt my dreams. I'm curious to know if I've been in your dreams as well. I dream about you all the time. I really want what's best for you. I hope you're better. I hope you're happy. I hope you're in a better place, even if it's not with me. I just want you to be happy. Things are at a standstill right now between us, and I hate it. But I get it if you're mad at me because I was a complete ass. But please let me say my... All, everything I have to say to you, and then when I'm done, you can tell me. I'm scared. I don't want to have a fight. I don't want to have an argument. I just want to tell you 
so much. I really just saw us as friends and in some way, I, I thought maybe, maybe we could try to take it on another level, but I wasn't sure. And instead of just telling you straight up how I felt and how confused I was between being, staying your friend or going somewhere else, I lied and I made it seem as if I, I lied. I definitely, I, I really lied. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that I hurt you in any way. I just want you to know that I love you, but I really want to be your friend. If you don't want to be friends, I totally understand. But I really just see us as friends. I want us to be friends. I think that it would be the best dynamic. Also because I'm selfish. But I want you to know that I do care for you. I do care about you. And I do love you. And I do want what's best for you. And I do want to protect you. But I just don't really know if I, if I see you that way. And I'm sorry. I'm scared to say this because I don't want to hurt your feelings. It's nothing against you, honestly. I just, I could not bear the thought of hurting you again, so I want to stay in the comfortable zone of just being friends. I wonder how I could say this to you. What would you tell me back? I don't want to lose you, but I'd let you leave if that is something that you wanted, because... I put your feelings above my own. I didn't then, but I do now. And I want you to know that I wish you nothing but the best. If I could, I'd hug you. I'd hug you. And I think we were brought into each other's lives for a reason. King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, um, the Sun in Reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, Judgment again, and the World. I did sneak. I did do some shady shit. I really did. I feel as if I turned your world upside down. Which led to our brash ending. I say there's so many things that you don't know that I did and I, I'm scared to tell you. I'm really scared. But I want to come forward. I want to give you closure. And I want to make peace. I'm feeling like I'm led to disclose everything. But I just don't. I don't want to make you feel like I want something more like I did last time. I really, truly see you as my friend for life. But you make the call. You get to say what you what you want, and I will respect it. But there's so many, so many things that I've done in the shadows and tried to get away with, and it's 
coming to bite my ass and the guilt is just one on top of me. I have to be honest. I've been quiet because I, every time I think about being with you and keeping this hidden from you just eats me up inside. I want, I want you to find someone who will treat you the way that you deserve. Someone who can be there, be honest, be stable, committed, faithful, all the things that I, I could never be. And I will find, I will one day find the strength and the courage to tell you everything I've done, but it's hard. It makes me emotional just thinking about how your face will be once I tell you these things. I wonder if you would hate me. I just don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. How can I make this over? How can I start this anew? How can I wipe the slate clean? There are so many unspoken words left between us. I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you so I can finally tell you the truth. I want to have a family with you one day. Like a friendship thing is what I'm getting though. I got scared and ran away from you. The intensity of my feelings for you made me fearful. I'm sorry. The more I push you away, the more I long for you. I know in my heart that we belong in each other's life. I've looked you up online because I'm curious to see what you've been up to lately and how you've been. I know I've messed things up. Could I get a second chance to make things right again? I feel like an idiot walking away from you like that. You are all I've ever wanted, and I just threw it all away because I got scared. You motivate me to be a better person. I wish I was as strong as you. You are my rock. You have inspired me to change my life. I want to come back to you and hold you and love you. I desire it, but it is just not the right time right now. I have kept my feelings for you a secret because I was afraid of being judged. You are my best kept secret. Our story will be the greatest love story ever told, you'll see. Lastly, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on, pot, on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Thank you so much, Pile 2, for watching. If this resonated or brought some type of clarity, um, I'm so glad. Leave a like, please, and I will post a video within a week or so. Thank you for watching. Blessings. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome. How are you doing? You are the ones who chose this 
flatter. They were all the same stone, but it's kind of like a flatter type surface. All right, we are going to do what would he or she say to you if they could, if you might be in separation or they might be shy. But So this is what they would say from the heart to you if they could. It's going to be, I'm going to speak as if I'm that person that you're inquiring about. And I have some channeled messages as well. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, let's be blunt. Pile three, I want you. That's it, it's as simple as that. I want you. I want you all the time. I knew that right away when we first met one another that I wanted you, you were the one for me. I was juggling though, in a way I'm still juggling. And I make it so complicated when it's really not. I have an attachment with somebody who is really, I'm trying to let go of them, but I feel like I'm obligated to be with them as if I have responsibilities with them. And there's just so much drama. I'm trying to pr protect you from it. But I pray I prayed to be with you again. I prayed to reconnect. I'm not one who usually prays. I always believed in a higher power, but I'm not much of a prayer type, but I did pray to see you again. I don't know if I'd ever have um, the strength to tell you this in person, but I did pray for you to come back in my life because, because you're like home to me. I fell in love with you the mo first moment I saw you. It's some corny ass shit that I don't ever usually say, but despite all the fighting, all the drama, me with my stupid reckless decisions of trying to juggle two people at the same time, it was always you. It's just, we met at the worst timing. We met at a horrible timing. The right person, wrong, wrong timing. I always looked up to you because you seem to be so strong. You've overcome so much in your life. I'm glad that you told me your stories. I had a feeling that nobody really had the honor to get a peek into your life like you told you told very few people about yourself and I felt honored to be one of those people that you could trust and it meant a lot to me because I could tell that it was hard for you to open up but once we got to know each other it became pretty easy we partied our asses off we did some silly ass shit. We drank, we smoked. <laughs> Gotta bleep that, but we did other stuff as well. <laughs> um, and then this, my ex came in, kind of stirred up the pot. I thought I had released her, but maybe, if I'm honest, I really didn't. I was, I was trying to have both. 
of you at the same time, which proved to be chaotic. You and the person, my ex, there was just a lot of drama between the two of you, which is understandable. My ex thought that you were competition, and you were. You, you are the one. I would choose you over anybody. Again, not sure if I'd say this to you because I have some pride and some ego, you know. You know how it is. But it's a clear choice that it's you. So she has every right to feel, or he has every right to feel insecure because he, she has nothing on you. Look up that song. They ain't got nothing on you. I'm not really the chivalrous romantic type. I don't really like that cheesy shit, that romantic crap. But it I, it really was, if I'm honest with it, love at first sight. We never got the chance to build our relationship up and take it to the next level, but it was still love, right? Did you feel it too? Don't tell me that it was just me. I'll be so fucking embarrassed. I know that you were more open about your feelings than me, and I know that it drove you crazy that I didn't express my emotions, but I had a feeling that you could see right through me. We finished each other's sentences. We know what's going on in each other's minds, but I see, I can see the frustration. But you were there for me. I I never really appreciated this enough. I never said thank you enough. You're still there for me now. You've always been there for me. I think we have a past life together. There has to be something magical in the air. It can't just be... Because when I first saw you, it's as if I knew you. And when you told me that you think that there's a strong connection or that we had a past life together... I didn't really say much, but I already knew. I already felt it too, and I just didn't say anything about it. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm, t I'm so in my head. There's so many obstacles in my life. There's so much drama. There's so much manipulation and toxic people, including my ex and all of this surrounding me. I wish I could just dive in and build a life with you. I wish that we could just start over and give this a chance. It's kind of hard to see that right now, but I'm praying for it. I'm praying for it. Because we are a perfect match. You are the divine feminine or masculine to vice versa. We are a divine pair. And there is only one you. And there's only one me. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. All right. I'll stop with the koi stuff right now. Um, I'm still, I'm still kind of in my, in my childish ways right now. Not sure how to go about it. I don't know when or, or if I will ever be able to open up. I know that this is what you want. I know it is. I just don't want to give you false hope. That's why it's taken me so long is that I don't want to give you false hope and then crush, crush it. You're so sweet. You're like the sweetest person, the sweetest soul I have ever met, met in my entire life. You are literally like an angel that that came into my life at the, I say it's the worst time, but actually it was the best time. I was in such a bad place. You're like an angel. You kind of took me off my pedestal and you kind of made me humble my pride. At least you don't even realize you did that, but you have, especially when, when you walked away. When he said, I'm not taking this anymore, it shot, it shot my pride. It made me realize, wow, 
everything else seems black and gray and we had so much color. And I don't think anybody can light up my heart like you. There's only one you. I'm praying. I am praying. I'm like, God, please hook me up. Hook us up. I want this person. Do they really want me? If I told them everything, would they still want me? If they saw all my skeletons in the closet, would they still accept me? Because they're so pure and I'm not. Would I tarnish them? I have to take care. I do see myself. Um, I already, in my mind, let my ex go. But I haven't official. I haven't made it official yet. And I will. It's not really an issue. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but at the same time, it's not going to be an issue to do this. Um, it's going to be an issue for them to... They're not going to take it easily. They're jealous. They were jealous when we were hanging out. But with, with that person, it was just sex. All I've had... Or all I've ever wanted in relationships was sex, passion. It's all I cared about, all I wanted, all that pleased me. And then you kind of switched, flipped the script on me when I didn't ask for it. <laughs> but I, um, we have substance. You're like a shooting star. You said that you saw so much potential in me, I, I couldn't believe my ears. I, I do want you. I don't want to string you along, but it's going to take time. I might need space. I might be quiet every now and then. But I will only make you an offer when I have an offer to give. Because I'm not going to give you half of me or a little bit of me. I'm going to give you everything. When I'm able to do that, I will be able to flip this around two ten of cups fulfillment i just wish i could tell you that i love you ace of cups strength again Five of Swords, again. No, just for the first time, sorry. Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups. I'm walking away from them, babe. I'm walking away from them. This is, this is me telling you. I keep you in the dark so much, but... I want you to know that I'm walking away from, from this other person. I was When I was juggling you two together, when we were in each other's energy and I was juggling multiple people, it was really my ex, um, this one singular ex that I've had so much drama with. I'm letting them go so that I can come to you and give you an offer. I, I, I don't want to go another moment without you and if I say or when I say I want to just be friends it's a lie it's a lie we're based off our friendship it's our foundation but I, I want so much more than that I think I might surprise you I think I might surprise you when you least expect it you kind of tamed the beast in me I wouldn't really, I wouldn't tell you half of this crap, half of this shit. What do I look like? Um, we have a fiery connection. A fiery passion. You're good in um, bed, if that correlates with us. <laughs> Eight 
you've done what nobody else with every you've done what everybody else has failed to do. Everybody else has tried to tame me. Everybody else has tried to change me. But they all failed. They had they were I don't want to say they were nothing, but but they didn't have substance because it was just sex to me most of the time. There was love there, but it was mostly sex. And with you, without realizing it, you weren't trying to change me. You weren't trying to make me or mold me into your image. That's how you tamed me. That is exactly how you did it with nurturing love and sweetness. You're a fucking angel. And you've been patient with me and I think it's you've waited long enough. Give me a little bit more time. If I'm quiet, I don't want you to think that I've forgotten about you. I'm always thinking about you. But I really do plan on making you my wife, my husband, one day. Now to the channeled love messages. That was deep. I'm worried that you've moved on and that you may not want me anymore. I was hoping that ignoring you would vanquish my feelings for you, but it didn't work. I realize now more than ever how much you really mean to me. I don't care about what other people think anymore. I just want to be with you. If only I had the courage to tell you how much I still love you. I feel frustrated with myself because I'm afraid that you are going to be the one that got away. I wish I had the courage to come back for you, but I just don't feel ready. I need more healing time first. Make sure you focus on yourself first now. When you raise your vibration by just doing what you love, you will attract me back in. I miss you so much, it hurts. I need to stop fighting what I'm feeling and just take action, but I really struggle with communication. I want you back in my life, but I'm really afraid of you rejecting me. I want us to build our lives up, even in separation. I have lied to you and betrayed you. I was in a very dark space at that time. I'm doing much better now. I am not the same person that you remember. Time to flip the page and begin a new chapter in our story. I'm building up the strength to come back to you soon. Have faith. I am coming. Oh. All right. Lastly, we have the Oracle, Lover's Oracle. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. I think your person wants to hold you like that. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Your pile is beautiful, guys. Thank you so much, Pile 3, for watching. If this resonated with you, brought some clarity on the situation, or gave you confirmation, please give me a thumbs up and be on the lookout for any other future videos that I will post soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day or night. Bye.